So in the previous time-lapse video, I demonstrated the process I take to, uh, to create the actual genie body. Now in this uh, section, you can see we've skipped ahead quite a bit. We've uh, added in the book pages, the book, uh, which is just one block, which we will then texture with a normal map or a bump map to give the illusion of lots of pages sitting on top of each other. We also have other little elements added in, some clothing obviously to cover her up, uh, we don't want her naked, uh, eyebrows, eyelashes and of course her hair. Now you'll notice with her hair, all we've done is created one section and duplicated it around her head, adjusting it just to fit uh, the actual curve of her skull. There's nothing complicated about that, as you can see it's quite low uh, geometry. If I just go to um, isolate that selected, there isn't even an, un an underneath. Now this is just to keep it simple and make it easier for us to UV, which is what we're going to do in this uh, this video. Now before we actually go in and UV map this character, we need to sit and think about what it is we're actually going to do with her. Now we could leave her as she is, um, just focus on using flat colours uh, and uh, Maya's mental ray shaders to uh, give the effects that we want. And in a lot of respects and a lot of areas, like her jewellery for example, we will probably just use a flat gold shader with some nice reflections and other effects to give us uh, a nice a sort of gold feel to it. No need for us to UV it then, unless we you wanting to add in some sort of um, damage or dirt or debris um, via a normal map or a bump map or something. Um, what you'll also notice, if I just select all these, press 1, so this is how the models will look when you've brought them in from your subdivision surface modeling package. Now previously I used Silo, but you can use whatever you like. Exported as an OBJ, just brought into here, uh, and we're just going to use Maya's smooth mesh tools and all you do is you press 3 and that'll just smooth the model for you so it's pretty much just Maya's subdivision surface workflow so you've brought all your models in press 3 to smooth them out so we can see them and what we're going to do is we're just going to go through and start UVing some key sections 